Welcome to the VATAS training video for MSLE part-time adjustable physicians. In this video, we are going to cover leave requests. As in MSLE, you'll notice on your main screen once you have logged in, there is a link that says leave requests. To input a leave request, you're going to click on that link, and that will open any leave requests that you currently have. It will display the status of that leave request, the date in which it is for, and the type and hours of the leave. To input a new leave request, all you have to do is click the button that says Add Leave Request. So we're going to click there, and this will open up a leave request form. So in this case, we're going to put in an annual leave request for one of the days that we are not going to be able to work as an MSLE. If you are not sure what your base schedule is or your regular schedule, you can click on this green link in the upper right hand corner that says schedule. Then you will click on whichever link is at the bottom in the permanent schedule box. We'll click there, this one says one to six, and it looks like Tuesday of week one and Monday of week two this, this employee works one to six. So I'm going to go back to the leave request form by clicking the leave request form link at the top. And we're going to go ahead and do an annual leave request. And in this case, we're going to do it for the Monday of week one of the pay period. So we're going to click on the calendar here. And Monday of week one, I'm, it was Tuesday of week one, we're going to choose the 20. Third. We'll make our end date the same, and we want to make sure our start and stop time is exactly what that schedule was, which was 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. without a 30-minute meal. You can type in submitter remarks if you would like. You do not have to. If you do not want to type in submitter remarks, then you can just scroll all the way to the bottom of the screen and click Submit. In just a moment here, this leave request will be fully submitted. Notice here it says your leave request has successfully been updated and it is in a pending status. Now let's say we wanted to take another day off, maybe next pay period. Well, in that case, we need to click back on the leave request link and you would add an additional leave request. So we'll go ahead and click add leave request. And let's say this time we want to take the full pay period off. It's very important that you make sure you do each individual day if they are non-consecutive. So let me show you here. I'm going to choose the leave type and we'll just do annual leave. And let's say we're going to take March, it would be March 8th, would be week one. March 8th, and our schedule is 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. And then if we wanted to take the Monday of the next week, we will need to click Add New Row. And then we could type in the Monday of the following week. So the 14th and the 14th, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. We can put in submitter remarks if we choose. Otherwise, all you have to do is scroll all the way to the bottom and hit submit. It is very important that when submitting a leave request that you keep your leave request within one pay period. So if we wanted to take another day off in March, we need to make sure that we go back to the leave request form here at the top and add a new leave request. So that is how you input leave as an MSLE in VATAS.